So you just hit level 50 and maybe got to 300 gear score and now are wondering what in the world do I do to get that gear score up higher. You might have noticed certain dungeons will say you can't go yet because your gear score is not high enough. So the whole point of this video is like a preliminary guide to help you guys understand what the next stage of the game is and how to progress. Uh, I'll go into more advanced guides in the future for each individual thing I mention in this video, but I'm going to go over the basics of how this is going to work. So there are three things that you need in order to level up after level 50, not level up, but you know, get your gear score up. That would be Guardian Stone Fragments, Destruction Stone Fragments, and wherever in the world they are in this cluster inventory, uh, these things, the Harmony Leap Stones, bound or unbound, and there's different versions. There's ones that you can trade, there's ones you can't trade, okay? That's not really important right now, though. So these are the starter ones. These are the tier two ones, I guess you would call them, or tier one, whatever it is. Uh, the next ones you'll be able to find uh, in, you can just see them in the enhancement material part. So these are like the tier ones. And then the tier two is going to be guardian stones instead of fragments. And I don't think there are any listed beyond that unless the highest one doesn't matter. That's the main point is how to get started. So you're going to start collecting these things. Okay. And you're going to be able to use them. I'll show you how to use them in just a second. Uh, but you collect these things from different things in the game. So if I zoom this out, call my mount right over here in, uh, Vern or whatever the main city is called. It's, uh, Vern castle. Uh, this top part has all your daily stuff, generally. I mean, there's other daily stuff in the game, but this is the bulkier daily stuff that you'll be doing. Uh, there's ways to unlock them, mainly through main story. Uh, the biggest one is going to be Chaos Dungeon. You're going to come here, and you'll see down here your Aura of Resonance. Uh, this determines how many times you can do this thing and actually get the reward. You'll see here you get Destruction Stone Fragments, Guardian Stone Fragments, and Harmony Leap, st Harmony Leap Stones from doing this, as well as Harmony Shards, Perception Shards, which I'll touch on in a later video. Uh, so then later on once, we'll just give you better gear, and then once you get way higher, once you get to Yorn, which is 600 gear score, then the same things will give you the stones instead of the stone fragments. So you're going to come here once a day, you're going to do the highest one that you can, you have the gear score to do, uh, and then it's basically just to kill a bunch of mobs, okay, and just do it in a time limit. It's not really that hard, at least at the beginning. So do that every day. You'll start collecting these things. We'll get to what to do with them in a second. Uh, also over here, you can open the bulletin board for the Guardian Raid. If you don't know how to unlock this, I have a little short video explaining it. I'll link that in the description somewhere of how to really quick, like, just a activate the quest, turn in the quest real fast. If it's bugged for you like it was for me, you can do it. So you'll do these. Um, you're probably going to want to do these with friends. Now these will give you Destruction Stones, Guardian Stones. These ones are tradable. So you can actually trade these to your other characters if you wanted to. Uh, so those that's one way to do it. You can also get them from just doing quests out in the open world. Which, I don't know if I have any quests on me right now that would, uh, give any to show you. But, you, there are quests out there that will give you the Harmony Stones and the Fragments, stuff like that. Even just Harmony Shards. So, you could just run around and try questing. Uh, but, the, I think the biggest one that people have been doing, like the people who came from K the Korean servers and Russian servers and stuff like that, is the Island Chains. And, I'm not super familiar with it personally, but I was told you start off, I think it was this island right here, maybe? Or no? Oh, I don't remember the exact island. It was... I thought it was in that one. Maybe it was in this one. There it is. Peito. I was told you go to Peito first to get some song. And then you go over to... Was it... Mercia or Lullaby Island or Freedom Isle? One of these ones. I can't... I'm not, I'm not the expert on that. I'll make an advanced guide for island. The, like, op, the way to optimize islands. But you go and do all those islands. You explore them. And, uh... That will get you a ton of them, apparently. So that's like one way if you really want to get it done fast. So do your dailies, and then once your dailies are done, if you're just trying to get geared fast, you're going to go to different islands and try to complete all that stuff. And again, if you don't really care, and you just want to get it anyway, just any which way, have whatever speed, just go and explore the world, follow the main story forever, go through all the places, and you'll just randomly be getting them as you, as you, you know, do stuff. There's random quests that will give them to you. Now, what do we do with them? Well, it's finally time to get to that point of this tutorial. So, uh, in Vern Castle specifically, you're going to go down here to this icon on the map. You can barely see it's tucked away. It's called Gear Honing. It looks like a Warhammer mallet thing. Uh, so that guy is right here. And what this guy does is you spend those to upgrade your gear. So you'll go to one of these and you pick one of your pieces of armor or a weapon. The red ones are used, those red fragments we got, those are used to upgrade weapons. And the blue ones are used to upgrade armor, which is honestly blue ones are kind of, you don't can never get enough of the blue ones. It feels like there's five pieces of armor to use. So in like this case, I have not upgraded these gloves yet. So I can upgrade them to uh, level two. And it's going to take two leap stones, and it'll take 90 stone fragments. Uh, once you're a higher level, like this one, uh, if I remember this right, 
we're gonna upgrade this. So you upgrade like this. It's actually not gonna be that much more expensive for a while. It's still just 90 and two, but this is where you go to spend them. So you upgrade like that. That uses those one things I showed you, the uh, harmony shards. You put them in and it, it, it's just like the first part of the upgrade. Then you hit gear honing to actually spend the leap stones and the stone fragments. So you do that. And then it tells you your success rate, which at lower levels like this is just going to be 100% no matter what, basically. And if you do fail, uh, it'll increase your artisan energy. And when it reaches a maximum amount, your next honing attempt will automatically succeed. So none of this is really going to matter to you until a little bit later on. In the beginning, you're just going to start, you know, leveling up your stuff. You're going to hit uh, that button. And now you did the honing. Okay. And now it is item level 360. So you're just going to keep doing this until your item level high enough for your next thing. Now, there are some advanced mechanisms that you'll be dealing with later, like gear transfer, where you'll be taking gear and you'll be, you find another piece of gear and you transfer some effects over and it's really complicated. I'm going to make a guide for that later because even I don't quite fully understand it yet because I didn't plan Korean Russian servers, but I'm just here to get you started. This video is for people who did not plan Korean Russian servers. I have a million, 300,000 players today, and I guarantee at least a million of those are like me who just started on the English launch. So once you get to 300, this is how, what's going to start the grind. Now, there are other th ways to um, get stronger in this game. There's engravings. There's, let's see if I can show you some of this. There's engravings, which is a whole nother thing. I'll make a whole guide for that later date. So feel free to subscribe for that. Uh, gem, there's cards. Cards are a much smaller part though. Cards are actually in the roster card catalog down here. And uh, you equip them for set bonuses. You have just collections, you level them up. Uh, you get card XP. It's a whole nother thing. I actually, I actually did the card guide already. I'll link the card guide if you want to get the card guide. Uh, but yeah, so there's other ways to get stronger in this game. But this is the basis, like the basics of how to get more item level. You can just straight up upgrade gear in order to get that gear score up so that you can get into stronger dungeons and stuff. So again, it's going to be this guy, Vern Castle. He's down here. You're going to go here. You're going to do dailies, chaos dungeons. You're going to do guardian raids and... Uh, Abyssal Dungeons don't give them, but you might as well do them every day. It's like a once a day thing. Uh, or not once, once, once a week even, or a few times a week, whatever. Uh, and then, again, you're going to go to Islands, which was... I was told you start off with Peito to get a song, and then you go to one of these ones in here. I can't remember which one offhand, like I said. But uh, just go check those ones out. And then, like I said, I'll make, I'll make a guide for that later on. If you guys think that I should be making some kind of advanced island guide for the optimal way to do it or something, just let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll take some time. It'll take me like a day or two to sort it out and, and study and stuff and do it myself. And then I'll try to, you know, streamline it for you and get it, you know, simplify it for you and explain it to you. Because that's basically what I do with this YouTube. I make guides. I keep you guys up to date on Lost Ark news and stuff. I was, I'm doing New World news too, but that's kind of the back burner. Just news and stuff now for that. But uh, Lost Ark now, I'm going to be doing Lost Ark news. When there's patch notes, I'll tell you guys about it. When there's updates, I'll tell you guys about it. And uh, I, when I'm, there's not news, I'm going to be doing guides and stuff. I'm going to be trying to hash out ways to make money, ways to make coins, ways to convert crystals better, you know, different things, how to uh, get geared, etc., etc., etc. That's that's just the focus of this YouTube. That's what I do here. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. But again, this was just a preliminary guide. I'm getting blocked. This is just a preliminary guide for people who did not play Korean Russian servers and just want to know how to get started. What do we do now? You hit level 50 and now you, do, you don't just suddenly get free gear that's stronger. So this is how you do it. It's generally going to be this process to get you started. There are more advanced mechanisms that I will cover in later videos with more advanced guides. But if I try to go into each one of those in excruciating detail, this video is going to be an hour or two long. So uh, we'll save that for the future. But now you know how to upgrade your gear score how to get started at level 50, how to start getting stronger once you get capped at 300, and uh, yeah, how to just progress through the game as a new player once you uh, first hit level 50 and have no idea what you're doing in Lost Ark.